Hello, I'm Laura from the Helena Family YMCA. I'm about to do a 30-minute Silver Seeker class. Silver Seekers is an older adult class um, designed for a little bit of strength, a little bit of flexibility, um, a little bit of range of motion for people who can't do a, a whole like a whole Zumba class or something, some like, um, not like a Zumba gold, but like a, a regular uh, class with a lot of jumping jacks and stuff. It's low impact, good, better for the joints. Um, you'll need a chair. You'll need something that, a chair that doesn't uh, rock or roll underneath you. Um, no folding chairs that'll fold underneath you. So something pretty sturdy. We're going to use, you can put a hand on it for balance work if you need to, if you get a little wobbly or or you just need a little support, we'll also be sitting on it. Um, here's my chair. I can move to the side a little bit. There's my chair. Uh, you'll need something, you'll need hand weights or something to substitute as hand weights. I have a couple of canned goods here, a couple canned beans that I just use. Um, they just work really well. But anything that you can like comfortably hold in your hand and it's not too heavy and it's not too light. Um, we're also going to have a hot water break halfway through. So if you want water nearby, go ahead and have some water. Um, when you store, when we're not using these, I tend to store them underneath my chair. But if you also have a shelf or a coffee table or something nearby that you can put them on, you can store them on there. Uh, but just don't, just not on the floor in front of you because we'll be moving around a little bit. We don't want to trip over them. Uh, make sure you have proper footwear on, things like slippers or, or flip-flops. You know, if we're, if we're moving around, you don't want to trip over your own feet. So some like proper footwear, something that's going to be comfortable and staying on your feet pretty well. Uh, I don't play music during this. Normally in class I would, but um, for copyright reasons I do not. So if you want to have something playing in the background just to get your, you know, your uh, body moving a little bit, then go right, feel free, go right ahead. Um, make sure that we're moving without pain the whole time. Something hurts or something, maybe you need to rest it. So make sure when you move, you move without pain. If you need to take a break, feel free to take a break. You know, just drop out, take a couple of breaths, maybe some water, and then just hop in whenever you feel ready. And with that, I think we'll get started. I'm going to take my stuff, I'm going to store them underneath my chair. All right, let's go ahead and step, touch, step, touch. Just going to get moving here, get a little bit of a warm up. Good. Reach the side. Let's reach up. March. While we're marching here, why don't we go ahead and march around our chair, nice and easy. Let's go the other direction. All right, right here in place. All right, let's put our hands on our hips. We're going to rotate our hips. We're just going to get them loosened up here. Be 
feet right underneath their hips. Other direction. All right, good. Let's do our knees. Other, other direction. All right. Have our feet right underneath their hips and go a little wider. You can use this chair as support if you need it. We're going to bend. It's just a wide stance. Your feet can go a little out if they want, if they, if that's what they think they need to do, that's fine. Torso nice and upright. Sitting back in those hips. Sink and up, sink and up. You need that chair, go ahead and use the chair. Good. And one and the other, we're just gonna go side to side. Not a big movement. We don't want that knee to go past our toe. Side to side. Kind of just warming them up a little bit. All right, right underneath our hips. We're gonna bring one back just a little bit, just right. We're just gonna do a short side lunge, down and up. And it gives more emphasis on one leg. Use that chair if you need to, especially feeling a little wobbly. Let's go ahead and switch sides, down and up. All right, good. Feel free to hold on to that chair for this one. We're going to swing our leg back and forth. Nice and easy, nothing too drastic. Back, um, forward and back. All right, good. Let's do the other leg. Swing it back and forth. All right, forward and back. is also a good warm up just kind of swinging your legs a little bit if you're going to warm up for a walk you think you need to warm up for that all right good if you need to feel free to keep on that chair we're going to just do a little bit of balance work so take that toe right out in front lift that up you can go tap that toe down if you need to. If you're feeling a little wobbly, if you can put a hand off, that's good. Just have that toe out in front. And down. Let's do the other foot. So right out here in front. And if you can, lift it up. Make sure you can always remember to even tap it down if you need to. You can keep it down if you need to, but raise it if you can. All right, good. We're gonna tap one foot back, that toe and back, and you can lift it up if you can. You can tap it down on the floor if you need to. Don't worry about height too much. And down, let's do the other leg. So toe and back, and if you can, lift it up. Right, right back down. Good. That was really important. Let's just do one more quick balance move. We're going to come up on our toe, bring it in. If you can, lift it up. Don't put your foot on your knee. 
You can keep it down if you need to, just wherever you're at today. All right, let's put that down, let's switch sides. So bring that up on the toe, bring it in. And if you can, bring it up, just not on your knee. You get a little wobbly or something, feel free. I mean, wobbly just means your muscles are working. That's kind of the point here. All right, let's put it down. Good job. Let's go ahead and find that chair. And we're going to go safely pick up those weights. Wherever you're using those weights. Worked our legs pretty good, so let's do our arms. Roll those shoulders. Let's roll them forward. All right, good. Let's have those elbows bent right here in front of you. We're going to go up on one side and then the other. Back nice and straight. Abs nice and engaged. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Good. Bring them down. We're going to put those by our sides. We're going to do some hammer curls. So make sure those palms are faced in towards you. We're going to go up and down, up and down. Excellent. Make sure you go all the way down all the time, every time. Just do one more. Good. All right, let's bring those up just like we had them. We're going to open and close. Open and close. If you need to take a break, go ahead and drop those arms for a second. All right, good. All right, good. We're going to do our triceps. Bring the elbow up. We're going to raise it and lower it. Raise it and lower it. Let's do one more. And down. Let's do the other side. So raise that elbow up. Up and down. One more. Good. Let's have one can reach down to your foot and elbow up. Right across your body. The lawnmower move. <laughs> And other side. Let's do one more. Good. All right, let's have those cans in front. We're going to make a figure eight. One side, other side. The sideways figure eight. All right, let's go the other direction. Not to think about it for a second, that's okay. Good. Let's make a circle in front. Other direction. All 
All right, good. We're going to come one shoulder and down to your hip. It's right across your body. Pulling that seat belt across us. Let's go the other side. All right, let's roll those shoulders a little bit. Have those hands in front. We're going to rotate to the side and back. Back is nice and straight. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Hmm. This one always feels good. All right, right here in front, we're going to crunch our abs. Squeeze those abs in front. One more. All right. Have those down by our side. We're doing a little bit of penguin, so back and forth, squeezing that side body. Good. All right, good. Let's work our legs just a little bit right here. We're going to bring, we're going to go ahead and march our feet. Let's go faster. Go ahead and kick it up. All right, good. Can you go a little faster? All right, good. Bring one foot up in a circle and down, like a big teardrop shape. Other direction. All right, other side. Other way. All right, let's pull our heels up and back. Toes up in front. Good. Let's have those cans in our hands. We're going to rotate the wrist. You can have them down by your side if you want. Other direction. Palms faced up. They can be on your lap or they can be up. Either way. Pull those knuckles to the sky. All right, let's rotate those palms down. Knuckles to the sky again. One more. All right, let's put these down. Let's go ahead and get a water break. If you need it. 
a little bit of water, stay hydrated. Make sure you store that out of the way. All right, good. Let's hand by our side. We can also actually support ourselves. We're gonna just gonna lean forward and up. But we can have our hands by your side if you need want to. Lean forward and up. This is kind of an airplane move. A seated air airplane. Kind of working our core a little bit. Do one more. All right, good. Now you can support yourself with this hand right here. Pull up and down. Other side and down. Make sure you're breathing with it and not holding your breath. Stretching that side. All right, we're going to do both arms up and down, up and down, up, forward, up, other side. So you have one arm forward, one arm back, one arm forward, one arm back. Good. I have our legs wide. We're going to have one foot face out. And then we're going to. So one leg is kind of straight. And that's pointing forward. And this leg is bent. And the foot is off this way. So it's kind of like almost at a 90, more or less. Up straight. And we're going to have our arms out. This is a warrior pose, a seated warrior pose. If you need to drop your arms at some point, if you get tired, you go ahead and go into prayer. All right, good. We're going to switch sides. So we're going to switch feet. This foot comes in, this foot comes out, this leg is straight, this one is bent, so we're facing the other direction. And once you got that, you come up. For all your superstars out there, you can go ahead and sit, stand up, out of your chair, but this is a seated warrior. Really good for the core, for the legs, really good for the shoulders, holding up your arms. If they get tired, go ahead and come to prayer. All right, let's come to front. Cat and cows, this would be good to our back. So feet out wide, support your hands up. And down. Oh, yeah. Right with your own breathing, arch that back to the sky and down to the floor. Yeah. All right, right, get my hair out of the way so you can see. We're going to dip our shoulder down and up, other side, and up, just back and forth. Doesn't it feel good? Breathe with it. 
flow with it. You don't need to go my speed. You can go your own speed. All right, good. Have our legs out in front. We're going to cross one leg. That's a little uncomfortable. You can either cross your ankles. You can even have both feet on the floor. That's fine. But we're going to do a twist. So we're going to bring our opposite hand to that knee. And we're going to have our torso all the way up straight. Nice engaged abs. And slowly turn. Try to look all the way behind you. Go ahead and bring our head to the front and the rest of our body to follow. And we're going to go to twist to the other direction. All right, let's get our head come to the front. Everything else slowly follows. We're going to switch our knees. We'll go ahead, hand on opposite knee. And we're going to torso all the way up and rotate back. Go ahead and come to the front. We're going to go rotate all the way around to the other side. And come all the way to the front. Good. We're going to bend both of these knees. This one, as straight as you can, but you know, I have mine a little bent. We're going to stretch that right in here. Bring that forward arm up. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Bring that forward arm up. Good, let's face forward. Heel out in front. Nice, good stretch. Let's do the other leg. And up. Let's lace those fingers in front, pull forward, and then open up the chest. Lace them in front, pull forward, and open up the chest. Let's kind of flow through it. You make it feel good. Okay, just to stay here for a minute. And open it up. Good. Roll those shoulders. You did good work today. Let's go ahead and breathe up. Fill those arms all the way to the top. And breathe out. Let's do it again. Breathe in all the way to the top and out. I hope everyone had a good time. I know I did. Thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you guys again. Everyone, please stay safe.